In this video, I will talk about 6 causes of back pain and stomach pain. Are you experiencing lower back pain that radiates to your abdominal area? Stomach and back pain often go hand in hand. Stomach pain is very common among people who suffer from chronic lower back pain. Either your back and stomach pain have a single cause, or the two symptoms are unrelated. So how are you supposed to tell the difference? If you've been experiencing back pain for years, but the pain only recently spread to your abdomen, it could be a cause for concern. Sometimes pain in the back and stomach indicates a medical emergency. Here are the six causes of back pain and stomach pain. 1. Peptic ulcer. A peptic ulcer is an open sore on the lining of your stomach or small intestine. One of the most common causes of ulcers is the long-term use of aspirin and NSAIDs such as ibuprofen and naproxen. Symptoms of a peptic ulcer include burning stomach pain, bloating or full feeling, pain after eating spicy or fatty foods, heartburn, nausea. 2. Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS. IBS is a common condition affecting the large intestine. The large intestine has muscles that expand and contract during digestion, allowing food to move through your system. Abnormally fast or intense muscle contractions can cause cramping around the stomach and back. Other signs of IBS include gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation. 3. Pancreatitis. Your pancreas is an organ in your upper abdomen. It has a number of important functions, including insulin production. This condition can come on suddenly or progress slowly over the course of many years. Without treatment, pancreatitis can cause a number of serious complications. Other signs and symptoms include pain in the upper abdomen that radiates to your back, pain that is worse after eating, nausea, fever, losing weight without trying, vomiting. 4. Gallstones. Your gallbladder is a small pear-shaped organ on the right side of your abdomen. It contains a digestive fluid called bile that helps your body break down fats. Gallstones happen when certain components of bile start to harden and accumulate into little pebbles. Other signs of gallstones include pain in between your shoulder blades, nausea, vomiting. 5. Infection. Pain in the back and stomach is sometimes the result of an infection in the kidneys or urinary tract. Urinary tract infections happen when bacteria enter your body through the urethra and begin growing out of control. Without treatment, these infections can spread to one or both kidneys. Your kidneys are located in the abdomen, near your back. Kidney infections can cause permanent damage and even become life-threatening, so if you think you have one, get yourself to a doctor ASAP. Signs of a kidney infection include Pain in the lower back on one or both sides, pain in the abdomen, fever, frequent urination or persistent urge to go. 6. Referred pain. Referred pain happens when you feel pain in one part of your body, but the pain is actually coming from someplace else. The classic example of this is people who feel pain in their left arm rather than their chest during a heart attack. When you pull a muscle in your lower back, nerve fibers send messages telling your brain that your tissue has been damaged. Sometimes your brain gets these signals mixed up, which can cause you to experience pain someplace else, like your abdomen. Other signs of a strained or sprained back include Muscle spasms, tenderness in the lower back. If you enjoyed this video, then you may like to check out our free guide, The Complete Back Pain Relief Program. You can download it for free from the link in the description below. If you want to make a video like this then check the second link in the description below. You will also get a 7 days free trial for this software. Thanks for watching, subscribe and share this video with your friends and family who have a back pain problem and get a benefit from this video.